the beautiful St. Andrew's Cross Spider. To me, it's a fairly common spider. I see it in the garden all the time. It's easily identifiable via its cross pattern that it will have on its web. Sometimes there's only parts of a cross there. Sometimes there's no cross at all. And there is a little bit of a mystery around why it weaves a cross pattern. It's a spider that you will see out on its web all day long. And you would think you'd want to be as inconspicuous as possible because you could easily become the next meal for a hungry bird. It's a spider that I've not featured when I've looked at spiders in the garden. I've always thought they're a little bit ordinary in the fact they just sit in their web. But as I've learned, there is no spider that's ordinary. One day I was walking past the St. Andrew's Cross spider on the back deck of our house. I noticed two other spiders on the web with the female. And I thought to myself, that's a bit strange. Is that a spider invasion or is there something a bit funky going on there? Well, I got lucky and yes, it was something very, very funky. What unfolded only lasted for about 15 to 20 minutes. I just had my iPhone and I was trying to piece together initially what was going on, but it soon became very obvious what was going on. It was an amazing display of what spiders get up to. I now fully understand why some of the male spiders will have legs missing, and I think the big lesson I learned in watching what went on is, if you've got a girlfriend or about to be married, you've got to ask your girl this question. Are you a spider? If she replies yes... My advice is, run for your life. Okay, let's do it. Warning, the warning on this very educational video has been removed. I spoke live when I recorded the spiders doing their spiderific thing because YouTube slash Google never tell you what causes demonetization. I have no idea what crosses the line. I just hope the silly YouTube bot can understand that what we are watching is highly educational. I've got a bit of an extra, extra bonus here. I've noticed with the St. Andrew's cross spider out in the backyard, man, there's something very strange going on here. Let's take a closer look. I think what I'm seeing there, it's the female St. Andrew's cross, which is the biggest spider. I hope I'm correct there. And I think the smaller one there is the male. And maybe it's best if I let these two get along doing what they're doing. Man, this is, oh man! Oh, it looks like another male has come up and taken out. I'm assuming that's some males. I've just seen two guys fighting it out for that girl. I, I, think that, I think that's what's going on there. Man, I hope I've called it right. That's a closer look at that smaller spider. I know the spider experts will tell me exactly what's going on here. It's happening in the backyard, I can tell you. Uh, that other spider that got scared away, it looks like it's coming back. I'll just try and point it out. It's down there. And it's coming back towards that larger St. Andrew's Cross. Oh man, I don't know what's going to go on here. It's getting very spiderific. That is not me shaking. That's not the wind. It's the spiders are doing this. Oh, what is going on here? This is crazy. Like I'm sure there's going to be people out there who know what's going on here. Maybe I'm capturing something really magical here. Put it this way, I've never seen this before. And I've seen the St. Andrew Cross spiders around a lot. Uh, but I've never seen a web set up like this. I'm just trying to get some slow motion. I hope it's in focus to see what is doing that movement of the web. I'm sure it's the larger spider there, and I'm pretty sure that's the female. I'm sure the spider experts are going to explain this is just crazy. Never seen anything like it. I'm back on normal video mode. I mean, normally spiderific stuff happens at night and normally you don't see any of it going on. Um, but that was just amazing. It's I don't know if I was a male, if that's a very good sign. Oh my crikeys. Please, boys and girls, turn off... Uh, and close your eyes, there could have been something quite sneaky going on there. Oh my crikeys. This is, oh my goodness me, the other male is down there. What? I can't believe it. I've seen it all now. I'll tell you what, I have seen it all now.
This is very intense. It's, um, both those males have um, reached the female there. Um, yeah. I suppose you learn by looking, don't you, at what's going on. I think I can work out what's going on by that activity right there. That was one of those in slow-mo. Amazing to watch, and I tell you what, something I've rarely ever seen in the backyard like this, amazing. Well, there you go. Your backyard's full of wondrous things, isn't it? Completely wondrous. Well, I'm watching this, and I think it's going to end in tragedy. I think both those guys are going to become her dinner. That tends to be the way spiders work. Or they'll be shaken uh, to their very, very ungrateful deaths. It's going to be one or the other. Yeah, it seems like the males there, they're certainly not friendly to each other. Uh, one's trying to pull the other one back. Oh, my crikeys! Well, that, that one could have gone... It's a totally out of focus there, I'm sorry. Um, no, he's coming back up for more. Here he comes. I thought he was out of the race there for a moment, but he's going to come back. He's still fighting. Amazing. Yes, yeah, so I've watched it over and over. Uh, one male spider will fight off the other one. I'm pretty sure I'm dealing with one female there and two males. And the males will just keep battling it out to get the female's attention. The female keeps bouncing the web around. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Uh, but one thing I do know is uh, both those males just do not give up. Yeah, so that's the female bouncing the web. The, the male does this funny thing as well. It just, it's been going on for some time now. Uh, both of them have uh, basically, well, connected with the female. Man, the, today's YouTube, you just got to be really, really careful what you say. I mean, if I was David Attenborough, it'd be like, Oh, there's this St. Andrew's Cross spider, blah, blah, blah. He can say whatever he wants because he's, you know, because he's part of the in crowd. But unfortunately, I'm not. So you're going to have to basically make it up for yourself. <laughs> another male, another male's gone and it just goes over and over and over and over. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Way better than what's on Netflix, I can tell you. Way better. Just fantastic to witness. It's going on and on and on. And to give you a scale of what was going on there, if I put my very overexposed hand in there, okay, got a feel for the size of what's going on there. I'm right next to the web. My crikeys, I hope we learnt something in this video or else YouTube is going to slam me. You know, who knows what I said in this, which will trigger the systems that destroy producers. I just hope that you've learned something. In fact, just by watching this go on, I could work out what was going on. I could actually see those smaller spiders had all of the traits of male spiders. You see, when you look at stuff long enough, you end up, well, teaching yourself, don't you? I just went in and called my son to come out and look at the spiders doing what they're doing, and it has ended in tragedy as I thought. The female has just grabbed the male. There's a whole stack of web being put out. It's good night, sister, and I think the other boy would be um, well and truly wise to run as far away from this very, very normal female spider, because that's the way they operate. Don't trust them. That was completely intense completely intense to see that play out and it played out over about 15 minutes in all and you probably wouldn't see all of what went on uh, because I had a lot of trouble focusing on these little tiny spider I mean who knows that girl might take out two males here I've seen that before in life I dare say he can say it was fun while it lasted didn't last very long at all that was awesome seeing that I'm really, really glad I noticed it and was able to capture it on camera. I hope you enjoyed it. I dare say YouTube hated it. This is about an hour later. I know some may have been skeptical whether that male was going to be eaten by the female. Well, there it is. As a nice meal and the other male is still hanging about. I don't understand why. Totally fantastic seeing this. Very exciting to witness. I nearly missed it. I was actually dealing with a huntsman spider that was at the front of the house. The time scale of the year when this was shot was just prior to Halloween. I wouldn't even go near a Halloween video for YouTube because of the way 
they view videos these days. They seem to want to slam dunk anything that's fun. There were times there when I'm shooting with the iPhone and I'm actually not saying anything because I'm so fearful I'm going to say something that causes trouble on YouTube. To me, there was some very comical moments, especially how cutsy and dumb those male spiders were operating. And we sort of know it's going to end in tragedy, but those guys just kept going back for more. There's a whole stack of one-liners you could add to the video, and I'm sure my audience can put them down as comments because if I said them in the video, it would be demonetized. In the many years I've been on YouTube, I have always been a fairly safe producer, but I tell you what, I'm viewed as being fairly risky now. And the way I would describe it to my audience is when I'm making a video, it feels like I've got handcuffs on. I feel like I haven't got the reach or I can't do the things I'd like to really do in a video, and it's really sad. Today's YouTube is nothing like the YouTube that I started on way back in 2007.